And finally, myth number one, ethanol is great. We made this myth number one because almost all the politicians are saying that this election season. They say we must use more ethanol to help save the environment. But is it true? Ramp up the availability of ethanol by both Democrats and Republicans. Look at the smiles. That ethanol works. The media like ethanol. It's cheaper and cleaner. 60 Minutes called it the solution. The ethanol makes a lot of sense. And the presidential candidates like it. We've got to get serious about ethanol. Get serious, they say, because ethanol's cleaner and renewable. It'll slow global warming and protect the environment. Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, John Edwards, and Mitt Romney all want the government to subsidize the development of ethanol. The economics of ethanol make more and more sense. It makes a lot of sense. Well, if it made a lot of sense, we wouldn't have to subsidize it or mandate its consumption. Jerry Taylor of the Cato Institute points out that if ethanol were just better, as so many people say, they wouldn't need your tax money to subsidize it. If you can make a profit in this economy by putting something in the market, the government doesn't need to put a gun to your head. But ethanol is worth subsidizing, say its cheerleaders. It's made from corn. We grow corn. It's natural. Just makes it sound better. But it turns out that it takes just about as much energy to produce ethanol as you get when you burn ethanol. It takes a lot of fossil fuels to make the fertilizer, to run the tractor, to build the silo, to get that corn to a processing plant, to run the processing plant. And ethanol cannot be moved in pipelines the way gasoline is because ethanol degrades. So using ethanol means using many more big polluting trucks. To move the corn from the fields of the processing plant and then to move that corn ethanol from the Midwest to the coast. That takes a tremendous amount of energy. So much so that a number of recent studies say making ethanol uses almost as much energy as ethanol creates. Its net energy balance is zero more or less. More bad news. The increased push for ethanol has led to a sharp increase in corn growing, which means much more land must be plowed. And that means much more fertilizer, much more water must be used on farms, and more pesticides. So why are politicians so in love with ethanol? Almost every politician says this is a great thing. It's no mystery that people who want to be president support the corn ethanol program. The first caucus is in the state of Iowa, and if you're not willing to sacrifice children to the corn god, you will not get out of the Iowa primary with more than 1% of the vote. Hillary Clinton made 17 votes against ethanol until she started running for president. Right now, the closest thing we have to a state religion in the United States isn't Christianity, it's corn. We are gathered here today to say amen to green fuels and ethanol. One of many politicians saying amen is Senator Evan Bayh of Indiana. The alternative is just to continue to consume more and more oil, more and more gasoline. That's not good for America. But you politicians make it seem like a free lunch. This would be using much more fertilizer, pesticides. This adds to greenhouse gases. There's no panacea. There's no magic bullet. As we produce ethanol in more efficient ways, it will help reduce greenhouse gas emissions. It's robbing Peter to pay Paul. And we are all Peter, and you and the farmers in Indiana are Paul. That's not fair. You're currently being robbed to pay uh, sheiks in the Middle East. Doesn't it make more sense to have Middle Western farmers producing America's fuel? Make our dependence on Middle Eastern oil a thing of the past. Many ethanol proponents say, even if it doesn't save energy, it'll reduce our dependence on foreign oil. Oh, that's nonsense. There is simply no way we are going to reduce our dependence on foreign oil via ethanol. A University of Minnesota study concluded that even turning all of America's corn into ethanol would meet only 12% of our gasoline demand. This just helps you politicians and the people who make ethanol at everyone else's expense. This is good for America. We have allowed our dependency on imported petroleum to grow and grow and grow. That is not healthy for our country. That's what we hear, plus lots of other wonderful reasons why we should love ethanol. But many of those reasons are myths. It's not going to produce energy independence. It's not going to clean the air. It's going to do none of those things. All it will do is make corn farmers richer and companies like ADM who process ethanol a lot richer. It'll make every one of us who aren't in that business poorer. This is a naked transfer program designed to take money from people who buy corn and to give it to people who grow corn and people who make ethanol for a living. That's all it is.